Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this open base circuit and here we have been given that all the op amps in the given circuit are the ideal op amps. Moreover, here we have been also given that the value of this Vx is equal to 0.5 millivolt. So here in the steady state condition, we have been asked to find the value of the output voltage. So let us find that. So here. Let's say this is the first op amp and this is the second op amp. So if we see over here that in the first op amp this negative terminal is connected to the ground terminal via this 100 ohm resistor while on the positive terminal this Vx voltage is applied. And moreover here we have the positive feedback from output to the input side. That means here in the first op amp we cannot apply the concept of the virtual ground or we can say that this first op amp will act as a comparator. So for the first op amp, here this V minus or the voltage at the inverting terminal will be equal to 0 volt. On the other end, if we see the voltage at this V plus or this positive terminal, then that is equal to this minus Vx plus Vy, where this Vy is the voltage at this node. So here, this voltage Vy is equal to 100 ohm divided by 100 ohm plus 99.9 kilo ohm times V out or we can say that that is equal to 0.1 kilo ohm divided by 100 kilo ohm times V out that means we can say that this Vy is equal to this V out divided by 1000 so initially when the circuit is turned on at that time this V out will be equal to 0 and therefore this Vy will be also equal to 0. So at that time if we see this voltage V plus then that is equal to minus Vx or we can say that that is equal to minus 0.5 millivolt. That means whenever the circuit is just turned on at that time this V minus is greater than V plus and therefore at that time the output of the first op amp will be equal to minus V set. So now this voltage will be applied to the second op amp. So now if we see the second op amp then that is nothing but the integrator. And we know that the output of the integrator can be given as minus 1 divided by RC times integration V in times dt. So in this case that is equal to minus 1 divided by this 100 nanofaraday times 20 kilo ohm times integration minus V set times dt or we can say that that is equal to 500 times this V set times t. So as you can see as this time t increases then this output voltage V out will increase and we have seen that this voltage Vy is equal to this V out divided by 1000. That means as the V out increases, then this voltage Vy will also increase. And this voltage V plus is equal to minus Vx plus Vy. So as this voltage Vy increases, then this voltage V plus will also reduce. And whenever this voltage Vy will become 0.5 millivolt at that time, this V plus will become 0 volt and now as this voltage Vy will become more than 0.5 millivolt at that time this V plus will be greater than V minus. So this will happen whenever this Vy is more than 0.5 millivolt or from this equation we can say that that will happen whenever this V out will cross is 0.5 volt. So graphically if we see and from starting the circuit, the output voltage will look like this. That means that gradually, the output voltage will increase and it will reach to the 0.5 volt. And as soon as it goes beyond the 0.5 volt, then this V plus is greater than the V minus. And in this condition, if we see, then the output of the first comparator will become plus V set. So now, the input to this integrator will be equal to 
plus V set. And in this condition, if we see, then the output of the integrator will be equal to this 0.5 volt minus 1 divided by RC times integration V in times dt. Or we can say that that is equal to 0.5 volt minus V set times 500 volt times T. That means from this point, now the output voltage will start reducing. So we have seen that this voltage V plus is equal to minus Vx times Vy. And this voltage Vy is equal to V out divided by 1000. So now, as this output voltage V out reduces, so this V plus will also start reducing. And once this Vy voltage goes below the 0.5 millivolt at that time, once again, this V plus will be less than 0 volt. And in this condition, now this V minus will be more than the V plus. That means as soon as this Vy goes below the 0.5 millivolt, then this V minus will become more than V plus. And once again, the output of this first comparator will become minus V set. And from the output perspective, we can say that as the output voltage slightly goes below the 0.5 volt, then this V minus will once again become more than V plus. And the output of the first comparator will become minus V set. That means once again, now the output voltage will start increasing. So in the actual circuit, if we see, then this voltage will be actually very small. And once again, if the output voltage tries to go below the 0.5 volt, then once again, the output of the first comparator will become plus V set. So in this way, this circuit forces the output voltage to be remain at the 0.5 volt. That means in the steady state condition if we see, then the output of the circuit is equal to 0.5 volt. And from this we can say that for the given circuit, the output voltage is equal to 0.5 volt.